Hello my dear friends, how are you? I am sure you are always fine because of the positive attitude that we develop because of this understanding of Ayurvedic science. So, my dear friends, we are back again. Myself is Professor Dr. Deshpande and we are in the serial Ayurved for All. <clears throat> we are spreading the Ayurvedic knowledge in a very simple, lucid language but at the same time in a scientific manner. We have understood that Ayurvedic principle says that the human body is composed of dosha, dhatu, mala, mulam, hi shriram. They are like the roots of the tree and they are very important components of the body, bioenergies, tissues and waste products. Right now we are talking about the sreshta karma or the important functions of all seven tissues. Every day we take the one dhatu and we discuss about it's the sreshta karma or the very very important function of that particular dhatu. So Vagpat, this is one of the rushi or the seer or the researcher or the scientist in the Ayurvedic field. He described in Ashtanga Rudaya the sreshta karma of Sapta dhatus or the seven tissues as Prinanam, Jivanam, Lepaha, Sneho, Dharana, Purane, Garbhut, Padasht dhatu nam, Sreshtam, Karma, Kramasmutam. So Prinan, that is hydration, water and electrolyte balance is the best function of the Rasa dhatu. Oxygenation, oxidation process is the main function of Rakta dhatu. Covering or the Lepana, Nutrition is the function of mouse dhatu. Lubrication, maintaining the fat storage in the body is the function of medh dhatu. And dharana, to hold, to support, to protect is the function of asthi or the bony tissue. Today, we would like to continue with the majja dhatu. As you know, this is the sixth, in a sequentially, sixth dhatu. Ayurveda has said that there is a definitely a chain of nutrition. That means rasa provides raw material for the formation of rakta dhatu. Rakta dhatu provides some nutrients, raw material for the production of mouse dhatu or the muscle tissue. Mouse has a connection with the medha, medha has a connection with the asthi and asthi has a connection with the majja. What Ayurveda says that majja is a very very anxious in the property. Majja Dhatu is a Snigdha Pradhana, Sneha Pradhana and Sneha is anxiousness. Then the people may be confused. In the yesterday or in the previous lecture you were talking that fat, adipose tissue is a main source of the fatty substance or anxiousness. Then you are talking right now about the Majja Dhatu as well. How it is that? I will explain you. For example, my dear friends, Fat, as I have told you, is a stored energy. Fat is a stored energy. The Majja Dhatu has also the energy because of the anxiousness or the what you can say, the fatty nutrient material. That's why Majja Dhatu is mentioned as a Snigdha Pradhana. But it's what you can say, the anxiousness is meant for kinetic energy. Remember the word. Fat, Medha Dhatu is a stored energy. And Majja is a kinetic energy working through the anxiousness or the fattiness. That lubrication, that anxiousness is very much essential in our activity of Vata Dosh. Now, let me explain you further. Majja Dhatu can be compared in a two ways. Majja Dhatu is the part inside in your cranium. Cranium is a bone, bony structure which protects our the brain. In Ayurveda, brain is called as a mastulunga. Remember my word. Brain is called as a mastulunga. And that mastulunga, so mastulunga or the brain is concerned with the nervous tissue. It contains the nerve cells, then the axons and the dendrites, then the synapses are there and non-stop nerve conduction is going on. And because of the nerve conduction only, we can have living quality of life because sensory nerve fibers they take the information like the from my ear from my eyes from my nose from my tongue from my skin all these sensations of hearing of vision of smell of taste of touch 
each five sensations are carried to the brain okay because when there is a movement i am always mentioning movement is because of the vata bioenergy or vata dosh that is okay but whenever there is a movement there is a friction whenever there is a friction there is a possibility of degeneration wear and tear now we want to protect we want to protect that wear and tear and that is why matcha dhatu is meant or is prepared or is manufactured by the process of anchasness another here we are saying the matcha dhatu shreshta karma as a purana purana means filling now as if here cranium is there and some anxious substances nutrients are poor and the nervous tissue has been formed it's looking like something very absurd but that is the fact what is the indirect meaning of this process that majja dhatu is inside the bone as this is inside the bone that is why the name is purana purana is a filling filling cavity of something remember and bones bony structures are also having the different cavities at different places and that is why there should be some filled part and that filled part is nothing but the nervous tissue on the one side or with some references and another reference is of bone marrow remember inside the bone there is a bone marrow so at some references majja dhatu is basically compared with the nervous tissue that is the nerves cells axons dendroids synapses all these structures and another with some references majja dhatu can be compared with bone marrow no whether it is a nervous tissue or whether it is a bone marrow how they are they are inside the bone so as if they are filling f i d l l i n g filling the cavity of cranium filling the cavity of bony structure and that filling is with the snigdha substance anxious substance and that is the kinetic energy that anxiousness gives the lubrication protection from the wear and tear and gives a smooth conduction of the nerve impulse that is why purana function indicates that although the bones are very hard very dry very rough and tough inside that bone all external covering is very tough and rough and dry but inside there is anxiousness that is called as a purana and purana with snigdhatva purana with anxiousness purana with fatty substance and that is giving the kinetic energy of nerve impulse so majja dhatu is maintaining the nerve impulse because of the purana function with snigdh anxious fatty property kinetic energy i think this is very clear to you and try to understand if that purana function has been damaged what will happen if my cerebrum the biggest part of the brain cerebrum where all the brain centers are there of sensory organs as well as the motor organs i am moving my hand but main switch is in my brain so that cerebrum mastulung in ayurveda that cerebrum if it is not proper filled then there will be atrophy remember cerebral atrophy is the cause of many disease and that indicates there is not proper purana or filling of majja dhatu snigdhata anxiousness fattiness is not going inside properly it is not giving proper nutrition to the brain cells and that's why there is atrophy of the cerebrum it can be seen in the ct or the mri ct scan or mri you can see the cerebral atrophy then the person will suffer may suffer from alzheimer's disease may suffer from senile dementia may suffer from parkinsonism whenever there is a filling defect then eeg electroencephalogram there will be disturbed electricity if the purana function is not proper like the bone marrow is not proper then the person will suffer from a plastic anemia that bone marrow is not functioning well and the person cannot develop proper rbcs proper wbcs proper hemoglobin and that's why anemia will develop and that anemia is called as a aplastic anemia 
according to ayurveda it is a indication that feeling or purana function is not proper in multiple sclerosis what is happening demyelination myelin sheath is of phospholipid underline lipid snit the anchus so phospholipid is damaged myelination is damaged and patient may suffer from multiple sclerosis sclerosis is a very degenerative and very dangerous to treat the particular condition of nervous tissue so my dear friends to maintain the feeling maintain the snigdhata inside the cranium inside the bone is a main function of majja dhatu and that's why we do the shirodhara pouring of the oil is very essential to maintain the feeling process of majja dhatu giving the anxiousness inside to the brain cells also there is a nasya daily use of cow's ghee putting the nasya nasal drops will give the proper filling of majja dhatu for the brain tissue so shirodhara nasya is very useful for the function of purana of majja dhatu remember also taking the ghee inside is also very useful anxiousness is helping to the purana filling anxiousness property or the function of majja dhatu i hope you have understood properly the majja dhatu as a compared with nervous tissue as a compared with bone marrow and how that feeling or the anxiousness kinetic energy is taking place thank you very much for patience hearing i wish all the best and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you